the aim to calm worries among Gulf allies as the U.S. reaches the final stages in nuclear talks with Iran. I was very explicit, as will be reflected in the joint statement that we re uh, released, uh, that the United States uh, will stand by our GCC partners uh, against external attack and will deepen and extend the cooperation that we have. The president welcoming representatives of six Arab nations to Camp David, but only two heads of state, the emirs of Qatar and Kuwait, attended. The president touted the prospects of a deal with Iran, assuring leaders that sanctions would not be reduced until Iran complies with an agreement, if one can be reached before the June 30th deadline. If we can get a comprehensive, verifiable deal that cuts off the pathways to a nuclear weapon, that that would be in their interests and the interests of the region as well as the world community. But the summit was about more than the nuclear talks. Also on the table, what the leaders call Iran's destabilizing actions throughout the region. Mr. Obama said the U.S. would increase its defense assistance in the Gulf with more joint military exercises and training and would work to streamline the delivery of weapon systems, including missile defense technology. Mr. Obama bristled when asked about recent reports that Syria's President Bashar al-Assad has used chlorine gas against civilians and whether Unlike two years ago, when Assad used chemical weapons, the U.S. would respond. What did you tell these leaders here who were disappointed uh, last time? And will you use a military response if it's confirmed uh, that he used chemical weapons again, once, once again deployed them? If we have the kinds of confirmation that we need, uh, we will uh, once again work with the international community and the organization charged with monitoring compliance by the Syrian government Participants described the talks not as a negotiation, but as a brainstorming session. This meeting was about the strategic relationship between the U.S. and the GCC countries and how we can work together in order to elevate it to a new level. That, says President Obama, was the goal. I am reaffirming our ironclad commitment to the security of our Gulf partners. As we've declared in our joint statement, the United States is prepared to work jointly with GCC member states to defer, uh, deter and confront an external threat to any GCC state's territorial integrity that is inconsistent with the UN Charter. Thank you very much, everybody. Mike Vicara, Al Jazeera, near Camp David, Maryland.